you anymore. Hello everyone, this is Immortal Man. Welcome to MK Mobile. And guys, update 6.0 is going to be super solid. Yes, you all know it's going to be super exciting. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about what are going to be the major changes in that update. The one of the reasons why that update is going to be incredible. So I will cover all the things and uh, this video is going to be like, super exciting and informative. Make sure you watch till the end. And lately, I will also talk about the bugs fixes, which were very important. People were suffering this, you know, after the update 5.4, there were lots of things. So I will talk about all those things. But before, let's start from the major changes. First of all, I'll talk about spawn. He was so much hyped before the update. But once he was released, people started hating him because he was not that great character. His passive was a bit good, but being as an opponent not as your teammate he was an annoying boss in the hell spawn tower but now he has got some buffs he has been changed a little bit i mean he'll be changed after the update we'll see will it be still good or not but let me tell you what the changes will take place and on the spawns passive ability and the gameplay so in update 6.0 there are the changes and spawn necroplasm charge will accumulate faster okay yeah it, it used to be slow when he was active necroplasm charges now also increase attack previously only health oh my god i still think he can be more annoying boss spawn will receive increased damage from basic attacks spawn will receive increased damage from the counter attacks two accumulated necroplasm charge improves stun on the enemy earlier it used to be 100 percent stun on only three there were few chances but on the three stacks there were 100 percent but now it will be 100 percent on only two stacks and three accumulated necroplasm charges impose mutilation on the enemy okay so i still think i don't know if he'll be a good character to play again and until they make him a bit faster and his combos make him even better i don't think they will do that but as, as uh, all these improvements will make him even more harder to play against especially as a boss my god <sighs> previously it used to be only health boost and now it will be attack boost as well all right we'll see we'll see and the second major change will be in the dragon crystal limit will be which which has been increased by 50 percent so earlier it used to be 30 dragon crystals from the resource per day but now it will be 45 dragon crystals which i guess is super good i really loved it seriously I, I badly want it uh, it could be 50 but all oh, right 45 is also good i really appreciate and the next info is about the shao Kahn helmet this gear is loved by everyone this armor is incredible like 35 or something more critically chances for armor is incredible um, but that was that gear was not found anywhere in the game people were confused why where is the hiding and uh, how can we get that but now that equipment will be added in the equipment packs worth 70,000 coins therefore which is incredible now you can max out your Sao Khan's helmet by opening equipment pack which is incredible I, I just loved it these changes are incredible I really appreciate and the next update is that there will be new trials yes guys which could give us diamond card and, and the um, most exciting thing about that these trials will revolve around the summon packs because these trials will never expire and completing them will give us a chance to earn mk1 character or a fusion up card which oh my god this is crazy man never thought about anything like this seriously going to happen oh uh, just seems really unbelievable until i just uh review the update and <laughs> just see those trials incredible and yes these trials will be completely different from the others so yeah it will be easily found and one more information about fusion up cards is that now fusion up cards will be available in the combat pass you all know i told you in my previous video but these fusion up cards will also be dropping from the grape drops but here is a twist guys that it will be dropping only from elder crypt drops so yep those who are strong enough those who can play elder crypt will be able to get fusion up cards from the random drop more often than getting wrath hammer or drumming's mask <laughs> my god
are, I'm, I'm sure the chances will be very low as they do with the epic and the rare pieces chances will be very low but it is fine man another thing is that we are getting a new fighting stage which will be mk1t house it's happening after decades seriously guys it's happening in this game after decades it's been super long they did not do anything like this so yep update is going to be super promising super exciting and which is going to be tomorrow all right and now let's talk about the combat pass there are going to be so many changes in the combat pass first time we are getting a combat pass without any assassin the character in the combat pass will not be doing any brutality all you will get is just some more fusions on him and the character is sector you all know he doesn't have any brutality so in this combat pass all you will get is this you can get five more fusions on him till fusion 15 but he won't be doing any brutality again this is a major change because this is happening for the first time secondly we will get fusion of cards from the combat pass trial rewards i've told you this many times next but the number of dragon crystals you can see on the screen have been ridiculously reduced I, I guess they have done this because they are giving fusion up cards and one fusion up card 75 dragon crystal one rare fusion up cards you can see on the screen they will be giving rare fusion up card from combat pass rewards which cost 75 dragon crystals and that is the reason i guess they have uh, reduced the number of dragon crystals we can get from there also again you all know that mk1 melina and darkest knight noob cyber will also be available in the combat pass premium rewards so yeah these are major changes man ah that is super exciting so last but not the least let's talk about the bug fixes which were which are very important man so many bugs were out the critical hit damage was you know buffed mk11 sub-zero was you know bugged and trial entries were bugged a lot of things there were so many bugs which we, which i didn't even know about so let's talk about them and what are the fixes first of all we will get to see an improvement in the filters for equipments where you will also be able to filter your equipment cards with the help of, with by block breakers also black dragon tower equipment has been added in the epic and the rare chest i guess they were revamped that is why they forgot to add them there and they fixed a bug with mk1 shang Tsung when he could apply death mark to an enemy could not apply death mark to an enemy i, I never discovered that bug yeah, MK11 Sub Zero has been fixed. Now his resurrection gives 15% health as before. There was there was a bug with 1%. Yup, we all know that, and that was a really bad one. Noob Cyber from the Lizard team has fixed, has been fixed. Has no longer increases when you use, has no longer freezes when you use his ability fourth button. Okay, so this never happened with me. I played him in the crypt, but uh, it never happened with me. All right, let's talk about the other set of the bugs which has been fixed. Sonia Blade from the Cold Team has been fixed. Ice Shield has been fixed. Ah, I, I noticed that her Ice Shield used to break very easily, even if you don't do your SP1 or any special attack. Sonia Blade from the Classic Movie Team has been fixed. Fixed a hang when using her ability. Uh, I didn't notice that. Fujin ability from Onslaught has been fixed. Previously, the ability did not steal the attack bonus. Okay. The effect of 10 fusion of the face of course equipment has been fixed and worked properly. What is that? Ah, there are so many bugs which I never even noticed, didn't even know about them. Fixed Adenian bracelets, the effect was triggered when the owner was not even participating in the battle. <laughs> oh my god, that is super bad. Fixed a bug with the ghost searing vengeance. What is that? You mean Spectre's burning vengeance? Then the special move broke through the block. What? It used to be a block breaker <laughs> with the help of Spectre's burning vengeance. Oh, that is super useful, man, by the way. Another list says they have fixed the movie set star equipment when the animatronic cancelled Sonya's passive combat. Oh, so it's turned hard to. I never faced that, which is super bad. Fixed a bug with increasing critical damage, talent equipment characters. Oh, thank you so much. Critical hit damage has been fixed. Fixed a bug with zeroing hearts in the crit. Ah, I, I never faced that, but I got few comments and I was super amazed. How is this happening? I, I had no idea. So what do I tell to my uh, viewers? I just told them uh, I, I could not explain the how did this happen. So this was a bug which is super bad. 
Fix the bug with the survivor and the crypt support cards. Alright, fix the lion's stance talent which increases the character's attack rate. Now it only increases basic attack. Oh my god, I never noticed that. I used lion's stance few times, but I did not know. Otherwise, I will be using it again and again, man. Okay, I want. we want some bug like, you know, horse stance again. <laughs> Let's hope for something good like that. <laughs> Alright, the next set. Let's check out the next set of the bug fixes and then we'll finish the video. Fix the bug that displayed incorrect character stats after merging. Did it really happen? I never know this. Fixed traitor Tanya's treacherous Tanya's passive. Now fire and freeze drain less power as it should. Alright, they did not mention any fix in the talent tree when your talent count is negative. Well, we are waiting for new bugs, of course. They don't they also don't mention any other bugs that probably exist. Ah, uh, yeah, most of the bugs we never uh, discover until other people tell us. So, yep, this is fine. I really appreciate their work. The team was completely new. They have worked really hard. Even few people out there, you know, in the community said that there will be no update in MK Mobile in so in upcoming 5-6 months because the team is broken. They have fired the, the developers and blah, blah, blah. But here you can see, within two months of that, they have brought one of the most promising and incredible updates in past couple of years maybe more so this is really appreciable and they deserve the compliments so that's a great job for them and uh, till then this was it from this video i hope you enjoyed watching i hope you found some informations here which you needed until then thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you in the next video guys bye bye